Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about the efforts of scientists to discover the structure of the flow of tissue as we talked about the uh, structure in the last video. Uh, our first effort today is done by the two scientists Raviton and Bohr. in the year 1945. What those two scientists did is supplying the plant with carbon dioxide that contains the radioactive isotope of carbon-14. So when the plant uses this radioactive isotope during the photosensors process and using it in the dark reactions as we mentioned before, the hydrogen will fix this carbon dioxide into carbohydrates. And as the carbohydrates are considered organic substances, they will be translocated through the flowing tissues. And as those carbohydrates also contain the radioactive isotope of carbon, they could be easily traced through the plant. So by tracing this radioactive isotope of carbon, they uh, could know the pathway of the organic substances through the plant and they found that it's translocated through the flow tissues by uh, being translocated through the cytoplasm of the sieve tubes. This is our first point. The second point is the effort of the scientist Mettler What this scientist did is using an insect called the aphid insect. As this insect used its piercing mouthparts to get its food from the plant. And by piercing its mouthparts, through the plant, it will uh, go to the place where the organic food is found. And by, in other words, through the flowing tissue. So when the insect um, pierces the mouse part through the flowing tissue, like this, and then get it out once more, he analyzed the contents found on its mouth and he found that these contents were sucrose and amino acids. And those are organic substances. And so he analyzed also the contents of the sieve tubes. Where did the mouse get inside the plant? And he analyzed these to get to know the structure of the flow tissue. Um, and this is how the scientists knew the structure of the flow tissues. We have a last third point here. The two scientists, Dane and Kenny, but this is not concerned about the structure of the flow tissue. It's concerned about how the uh, food or the organic food molecules are translocated through the flow. So, in the year 1961, they established a theory called. Cytoplasmic streaming. What's meant by the cytoplasmic streaming is the movement of the cytoplasm through the sieve tubes, which contain bolus, as we have mentioned before, from one sieve tube cell to another sieve tube cell, and from these sieve tube cells to the companion cells. 
So when the cytoplasm perform a complete circle or a complete cycle, they translocate the food from one end to another. And this is how the food is translocated through the phloem by means of the cytoplasmic streaming. And by the way, the cytoplasmic streaming needs energy. And this energy is consumed through the ATP molecules. As we mentioned, that the ATP is the universal energy chemistry in the living organisms. And to make this ATP, we need respiration. Which accordingly necessitates the presence of the oxygen. So, when there is no oxygen available for the plant to use, the action of the cytoplasmic streaming decreases gradually till it stops until the oxygen is abundant once more to use it to perform the cytoplasmic streaming. And in other words, the oxygen is important for the translocation of the organic food molecules through the flow of tissues. And this is it for today. The next time we will talk about the transport system in human. And until then, I thank you for watching and see you next time.